guys, how's it going? Bombing Science here. And we just received the brand new Iron Lac Basic Paint, which is their new value paint that is acrylic based. It's 280 grams compared to the usual 312, but don't let that fool you. It's the usual 400 milliliters that you're used to. It's just a bit lighter, uh, sleeker design. And I'm excited to try it out, excited to see how the paint covers, how it fares compared to regular Iron Lac, if it's a good value paint. And I hope it is. I hope it's worth it because you guys can get a lot more of this paint for the same price and I'm expecting to see a little dip in the quality but depending on your budget and what you're doing with it I'm sure that basic will be a good substitute for a lot of you out there so let's try it out see how it fares and uh, enjoy the video all right so we're gonna start off with a vegan cap trying to do an initial outline and see how that fares so follow along The opacity is changing on some of these lines, so I'm just shaking the can and seeing if that changes anything. Now I'm switching over with a pink dot and I'm gonna fill it in, see how that goes. I like the way that feels. I feel like it's a bit lighter than what I'm used to, but it covers well. And I'm gonna try and switch over to some pink now and see if I can do a nice uh, fade from one color to the other. All right, I'm switching over to the black now. Gonna do a quick outline, see how that fares. I was happy with the pink. I feel as though the pink covers better than the yellow. Usually with lighter colors, and especially yellows, it's hard to get a nice opaque covering color. And it did pretty well, but the pink was very satisfying. So, gonna see how the black does. I feel like black is a really strong indicator of how a paint is overall. And if it covers well, that's a good sign. So the black did a good job covering the paint. Uh, opaque lines, a bit of misting at the sides, but I think that's more my can control on the tip than the paint is anything. And now we're gonna go ahead and try a bit of the iron lac, just so we can really compare side by side how the two feel. All right, now I'm gonna try this autumn red and iron lac with the vegan tip to see how it fares compared to the initial outline I did with the basic. And we're gonna then do a partial letter and really see how the new paint compares to the old. I'm going in with the basic right now, side by side, and comparing how the can feels. Uh, I know it might not be very clear in the video, but I'll uh, do some zooms later and let you know how it feels. Um, before I go in with the autumn red and start filling in with the regular iron lac to compare, I just want to say that the lines are quite nice with the basic. Um, you can see that some spots may be a little bit more transparent, but that's in the beginning. That was the beginning of the can, so I didn't shake or spray it as much as I should have. Um, but the lines are looking crisp, they're looking similar to regular iron lock, so I'd say so far they're looking rather similar. Let's see how uh, the fill-in compares.
So now uh, I'm gonna go in with the black, but I just wanna say that the filling in with the iron lac feels real nice. The color feels a little bit thicker um, and the smell is much more tuned down. The basic does have a much more pronounced smell. Um, nothing overwhelming, but it's something worth knowing because you can't tell just off the video. So now I'm back with basic. I'm gonna fill in and see if the paint looks any different in black. So I feel as though the basic paint goes really well. It does feel as though it takes a little bit more of this paint to do the same amount of covering as with the other one. And the smell is more pronounced, but I'm finding the paint good. The value is there. And I'm gonna just play around with some more of the basic, really get a feel for it and see how uh, I'm enjoying it. And if there's anything that comes out, anything glaring, and I'll let you know uh, how that comes out. I'm gonna use this Astro Fat on this basic chiller blue, see how the flares go and how it feels as a Astro Fat can. It works well, it works like you'd expect it to, no complaints there. So, so far it's working well with skinny caps, with Astro Fat caps. Uh, really, this paint seems to be worth its salt. I'm enjoying it and it's a lot of fun. I'm switching over to a New York fat to do the filling in. I've been finding that the pink dot tends to leave the edges a bit blurry with the both the basic and the regular iron lac. So I'm hoping the New York fat will give a cleaner edge and make the filling in process cleaner. So I just did four or five layers of fresh paint over fresh paint and I was checking out how much it bleeds and it seems to be doing okay. I'll do the test again just to make sure but it seems as though the paint dries fast enough and thick enough that you can really go in and play with layers. Okay, so one layer. Two layers. It's already starting to bleed but it's not too bad. The edges are getting a bit messy. Three layers, now it's starting to bleed. But really, this is a pretty good time. It, it does bleed, it does uh, not let you get right in there, but considering how you'll usually be moving around, you just want to keep that in mind that you can't go right over and that it will drip, but the drip quantity is quite reasonable. I will say, however, that over here, you can see that there's three different colors to the purple. So really you want to give the can a good mix, which I didn't do, and gives this result. So make sure you're shaking your cans properly before using them, otherwise you'll get inconsistencies in the color.
I'm gonna go in now with the yellow fat on a basic chrome and see how it fares, see if it fills well, see if it's opaque, see how the color is, and I'll let you decide. So it covers well, it's a little bit uh, on the darker side, but not too much. Um, it's a bit streaky, but again, I think that's more the cap than the paint. Uh, it does, you know, splurt a bit, it goes on my finger, but nothing too dramatic. So I'm gonna see how the black goes over it, see if it covers well. So we just painted this, we haven't given it any time to dry, and I'm gonna go over with the black now to see if it covers well or if it needs a bit of drying time. So the basic black really has no trouble covering the chrome, the basic chrome, and that's a good sign. It means that uh, you can really just go out and paint, use your chromes, use your blacks. You don't need to walk around the block. You don't need to give it time to dry. So that's a really reassuring sign. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do some hand styles, do some little line tests, see how the basic feels in terms of doing basic letter work, and um, see how that goes. Hand control is great, uh, no complaints. The opacity, given the rapidity of the lines, feels perfect. Um, yeah, this is good paint. So that was with the yellow. It's a bit transparent over the purple, so you gotta keep in mind that the yellow is not perfectly opaque. Um, it is a color that's best used, you know, maybe in transparency or in several layers. So maybe just keep that in mind next time you're ordering basic online. I'm gonna do some quick highlights with the basic white on this A and on the chrome D. I'm gonna try two different styles, one where the opacity changes and one where it's regular and see how this white fares, see if it's opaque enough, if you need to be careful, and what kind of highlights function well with this kind of paint. So we just did the white with some opaque lines, some rounded highlights, and as you can see, it's got a bit of dripping, so if you want to get it opaque in a single shot, it may drip a bit, so be careful. Maybe let it dry in two shots. Take your time, don't hurry up the highlights or the uh, fine lines, especially in white, because the white isn't um, super opaque, so you need to either get up close or uh, let it dry and do a second coat. Now we're gonna go over to the D in Chrome and see if that covers it nicely and how the paint functions if you do it in a thinner, um, more flared highlight. Let's check it out. Yeah, so I'd say that's a much better approach. It's a bit messy over here. I did a lot of, um, I did some hand styles and I did a lot of extra lines in the black to test out how the black covered the silver, um, the chrome rather. But if you see here, the flares work very nicely with this. It really um, eases better into the type of paint we're using. Um, it's not perfectly opaque, but you just let that happen. You let it be the way that it is and you work accordingly. You let the paint um, do what it does best instead of forcing it to try to be a different type of paint and you'll get better results. So all in all, I'd say that the basic is a good paint. Um, it is more budget, it doesn't do all the things you can do with a regular iron lock or higher end paint, but it is very functional and if you're um, 
trying to paint more with the same budget or if you're um, restricted or um, whatever reason you have, if you don't have something too complicated to do, I think that you can do a lot with uh, the new Iron Black Basic. So you can get all the paints you saw today on our website in the link below. Uh, make sure you check that out, you get the colors you want if you're trying to use basic today. It's a really good paint, I recommend it, I was very happy with the results, I was expecting, honestly I was expecting something worse and I was happily surprised. The paint works well for a, you know, more budget friendly paint and depending on your needs, depending on your budget, this can really be a good alternative for you. Um, so all our paints are available on our website and make sure you like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, if you have questions, if I did anything wrong, if I messed up, be sure to let me know in the comments. Have a great day, thank you guys.